coming to you live from an underground bunker at an undisclosed location, it's End Times in the Morning! Good evening. I'm Max Miller. And I'm Joanne Smith. This week's focus on our local athlete brings back a name we're all familiar with, Ragnar, the ultimate warrior. Steve Conrad has the interview. Take it away, Steve. Thank you, Max. I'm here with Ragnar, the ultimate warrior. Ragnar, tell us, what keeps you motivated to pillage and plunder through these trying times? Well, uh, as the world fell into natural chaos, uh, people people look to me uh, as, a, as a natural leader to, to really pull through and, and, and make do in these trying times. Oh. And, and killing your countless enemies day in and day out, that must be exhausting. How, how do you keep going? Well, some would say it's my adrenaline-induced Berserk rage. Oh, I am. It really gets me going. But like, honestly, if I had to be true, uh, it'd be be the, the normal cans of coffee that uh, I can get in the morning. Uh, and uh, since you've donned this title, has your life changed at all? Well, being known as the ultimate warrior uh -huh. uh, really has has its it has its tries and tribulations. But me personally, uh, I'm just a normal guy. I don't I don't know what people see in me, but I'm just a normal everyday guy. So do you have a normal, everyday guy future in the works? Well, with the way the world is, I, I highly doubt that. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know what? If I had my way, I'd settle down with a, with a, a normal, everyday wastelander guy. Oh, so sweet. Thank you, Ragdar. Thank you very much. No, no problem. Thank you, Steve. Our next guest is a prophet who claims he knew that Judgment Day would come and has a three-step solution on how you can redeem yourself in the light of God. Everyone welcome, Dirty Larry. The light shall pierce through the mantle, through the sunken skies, and those who deny the word of God shall face their judgment. Interesting. Through the earth, those who are meek shall seek refuge from the Lord. But hear me now, the end is near. I tell you, the end is near. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> Our next guest is a friend of the show. Uh, she has a way to save the world and rebuild society. But first, a word from our sponsors. No sponsor? Really? No one? Yeah, the light's still red. <laughs> well, <laughs> everybody please, let's give it up for Dr. Ava. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thank you for coming. So what is the solution that you have come up with and will it actually work? After weeks of intense research, I've been able to pinpoint the origin of the apocalypse we're experiencing. What is it? Bees. After the bees died out, many plants with important roles in our ecosystem died with them. Fascinating. So you think by bringing the bees back, we might be able to save life on Earth? That's exactly what I'm saying. So how do you plan to do that? With a series of advanced experiments, I've determined that- Whoa! Uh, Joanne, that'll, that'll wash out. Uh, is there any chance on saving this unit? <laughs> um, well, tune in next week, uh, where we're gonna teach you how to make a bow and arrows out of the bones of your fallen enemies. <laughs> I'm Max Miller. And I'm Joanne Smith. We'll see you next week. Maybe.